hello everyone this is Rahul in this tutorial we are gonna look at how data is represented in a computer generally a computer can store data in the form of signals if in a device let us consider this as a device they may be it may be a silicon device a transistor or something if the signal of this device is high then we say that this device is in on state if it is in low then we say it is in off state we represent this on as 1 and off as 0 if we combine these memory these transistor cells as a group of many cells then it can store and then each can each each cell can store a value of 0 or 1 this has become a memory so we need to store data in the form of zeros and ones in the memory but the real problem is how do we map the real world data to the binary form these two digits are known as binary digits We must find a way to represent the real world data which are numbers that we deal with in everyday life and alphabet and other type of data must be converted into zeros and ones. We can do that in binary number system this is the motivation of learning this binary number system if we have a number say 26 in decimal form then we can convert it into binary form as follows 26 we divide it by 2 it goes 13 times and the remainder is 0 now we divide this quotient again with 2 it goes 6 times and the remainder is 1 now again we have to divide with 2 it goes 3 times remainder is 0 we have to continue this process until we get a zero in the quotient two ones are then the remainder is one now we divide with zero remainder is one now where do we get the binary number from this division we have to go from bottom to top that is one this one this zero this one this zero now how do we check whether this number is 26 or not to check this number is in 20 is 26 or not we assign the position to each digit starting from the rightmost digit generally this is called LSB which is least significant bit this is MSB which is most significant bit now the position of this bit is 0 remember if this starts from 0 and not 1 the next is 1 2 3 and 4 
now this can this equals 1 times 1 times 2 power 4 1 times 2 power 4 because this is the position and this is the weight of this num this number plus 1 times 2 power 3 for this number plus 0 times 1 power sorry 0 times 2 power 2 plus 1 times 2 power 1 plus 0 times 2 power 0 now when we add up this this is 2 power 4 is 16 2 power 3 is 8 times 1 is 8 2 power 2 is 4 times 0 is 0 2 power 1 is 2 times 1 is 2 this is 0 now when we add up all this we get the number 26 this is how we convert a number from decimal system to binary system now let us see how do we convert fractions into binary number system suppose we have um, 5.25 this is in decimal number system to specify a number is in decimal number system we use a subscript 10 because each number the decimal number system there we have 10 digits 0 through 9 so this is subscripted with 10 this is all this is known as base of a number or radix of a number and hence in ba in binary number system base equals 2 because we have two digits 0 and 1 so let us convert this number into binary first as usual we convert this integer part that is 5 into binary 2 times 2 and the reminder is 4 Rem sorry reminder is 1 2 times 1 0 2 times 0 1 so the number is 1 0 1 but this number is represents only this 5 now we need to convert the decimal part in also into binary so we do multi repetitive multiplications with by 2 so 0 0.25 times 2 gives point 0.5 now we don't write point 0.5 here we only write 0 we carry this point 0.5 to the next multiplication so that point 0.5 times 2 gives 1 point zero here we don't write 1.0 we write 1 and this 0 is carried forward for the next multiplication 0, 0.0 times 2 equals 0 we have to continue this until we are we encounter a 0 so here we have seen that we go from bottom to top but in here we go from top to bottom that is 
point two five equals zero sorry point zero one now we combine these two the value at here and the value at here resulting one zero one point zero one that is five point two five in base ten is one zero one point zero one in base two now we can compare these two numbers writing five point two five is equivalent to saying five times ten power zero plus two times ten power one minus one plus five times ten power minus two similarly this is equivalent to saying uh, we write the positions first this is zeroth position this is first position this is second position and right side of the decimal point generally this is not called as a decimal point this is a binary point this is a decimal point this is minus 1 and minus 2 so 1 times 2 squared plus 0 times 2 power 1 plus 1 times 2 power 0 plus this number 0 times 2 power minus 1 and this number plus 1 times 2 power minus 2 now we can compare these two these are coefficients of the number and these are weights of the number in decimal number system similarly these are coefficients and these are weights of that coefficient the weight is calculated relative to its position in the original number as we have seen so in general the number may be in any base system we will generalize this as suppose we have the number as a5 a4 a3 a2 a1 a0 dot a minus 1 a minus 2 a minus 3 and consider base as r so we can write this number as a5 times r power 5 plus a4 times r power 4 plus a3 times r power 3 plus a2 times r power 2 plus a1 times r power 1 plus a0 times r power 0 plus a minus 1 power r power minus 1 plus a minus 2 power r power minus 2 plus a 3 power r power minus 3 this r in general may be any number we take r equals 2 then it is binary number system if we take r as 8 it is octal octal number system and if we take r as 10 it is decimal and if r equals 16 it is hexadecimal
In the next tutorial we are gonna look at the complement of binary number system and also the hexadecimal number systems. We'll, we will focus mainly on these two number systems because they are we will use them in our study of computer organization. So stay tuned. Thank you.